What's up, smarty people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Radio What Studios, and this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time, and if you need DJ services, where do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. One more time, DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. You know I like to party with the people. The people need to be entertained. Are you not entertained? Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, I have six. Yes, count them. Six informative facts about Father's Day. Father's Day doesn't always get the attention it deserves. A modern secular holiday that arrives on the third Sunday of June, sometime between the end of school and the summer solstice. The day can be overlooked by kids who are immersed in vacation activities or otherwise inclined to take dad's support for granted. Yet the mostly grown-up boys who rule the roost deserve their moment of recognition too. So as a service to the 70 million plus dads in the United States, here are Six fun facts to muse on for Father's Day. Number one. Father's Day was first celebrated in the early 20th century. The first known Father's Day commemoration held in West Virginia on July 5th, 1908. It was a one-off event to honor the roughly 361 men who had died in a coal mining disaster the previous year. But the version of the holiday that took root is largely credited to a Washington State woman named Sonara Smart Dodd, one of six children raised by a widower. Inspired by a sermon celebrating Mother's Day, itself a recent concept. Dodd set about drumming up support for a similar day for dads among local church leaders and government officials. Although her request to establish the occasion on her dad's birthday of June 5th was rejected, pastors reportedly wanted more time to prepare for another sermon after Mother's Day. God's efforts led to the first major Father's Day celebration in Spokane, Washington on June 19th, 1910. Number two. It took several decades for Father's Day to become a holiday. Although Mother's Day became a national holiday in 1914, Father's Day failed to garner the same official backing for several decades. This was largely due to the American notions of masculinity. In the words of History.com, many men initially scoffed at the holiday's sentimental attempts to domesticate manliness with flowers and gift giving. Or they derided the proliferation of such holidays as a commercial gimmick to sell more products, often paid for the father himself. Nevertheless, commercialization of the day was established by the 1930s, and by World War II, Father's Day was being promoted as a way to honor servicemen. In 1972, President Richard Nixon finally formalized the widespread observations and declared the day a holiday. Number three. Dads want to be honored with a card and a phone call and maybe a slab of meat. What do dads desire most for their designated day in the sun? If the results of two recent polls are to be trusted, they want to keep things simple. A 2021 YouGov survey revealed the top answers tied at 28% among responders to be a card and a special experience with the family. Meanwhile, a 2019 questionnaire found that dads most wanted a phone call from their children, 47%, followed by a big juicy steak, 41%. The latter choice, perhaps unsurprising given that the poll was instigated by Omaha Steaks. Number four. (laughs) Father's Day was once the busiest day of the year for... Collect calls. According to the experts at Hallmark, Americans now honor their fathers by way of 72 million greeting cards purchased annually, making it the fourth largest such occasion on the holiday calendar. And according to the researchers at Snopes, previous generations of children went the extra mile for dear old dad by inundating him with collect calls on his special day. While that habit has largely died out with the rise of cell phones, an AT&T spokesperson summed up the way of the world back in 1998 by noting Father's Day is our biggest day for collect calls. Not just the biggest holiday, but the biggest day of the year. Number five. 
The best dads can win a Father of the Year award. While getting a child through the day without incident is enough of a victory for some dads, the National Father's Day Committee has sought to recognize the best in this demanding field by bestowing Father of the Year honors on multiple recipients since General Douglas MacArthur claimed the inaugural award in 1942. Sure, the opportunity for recognition increases if you're a famous dad. Previous winners include Humphrey Bogart, Arthur Ashe, Peter Jennings, and Joe Biden, but regular Joes also get the shot at consideration by way of the All-Star Dad Essay submitted by children. And finally, number six. Father's Day is celebrated in different ways around the world. While families in Canada and the United Kingdom celebrate Father's Day at the same time of the year in similar manners to Americans, other cultures have their own way of honoring the man of the household. In countries with large Roman Catholic populations like Spain, Portugal, and Italy, patriarchal contributions are noted on the annual March 19th Feast of St. Joseph, which honors the earthly father of Jesus, Joseph of Nazareth. The German celebration of Vatertag is held on Ascension Day, 40 days after Easter, and marks the start of a four-day holiday weekend. And the Thai version of the holiday, which falls on the December 5th birthday of King Bumibal Adulajes, is marked by children gifting canna lilies to their fathers and grandfathers. Isn't that sweet? How are you celebrating your Father's Day? Hey, I'm a father. Well, at least two that I know of. I know, bad joke, bad joke. It's a dad joke. These kids today, they there, I just became older. Happy Father's Day to all of you fathers out there and all you kids. If your fathers are still with us, tell them Happy Father's Day. Call them collect if you have to. That's it for this edition of What Makes You Smarter. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here.